So I'm just like, for me, it's just like, yo, y'all gotta be kinder with your words. And I know people who are watching this right now are fucking, you know, sweet people who are my fans, probably, I hope. But like, man, I'm just, I'm just fucking disappointed in everyone. And I hate that when I talk about shit in a vulnerable way, you know, it's been just like, oh, Madison's like, you know, crying on live again. It's like, okay, you look so sad, babe. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. I'm not even sad. I'm tired. I'm tired of going out of my way to be a good fucking person. Y'all don't even know the shit I do. During this pandemic, people, you know, people talking shit about how I'm a fucking horrible person and whatever. During this this entire thing when I was in New York, which by the way, while I'm on live, I'll clear that situation up. While I was in New York, um, I, me and my mom every day would go and we would drive about 15 minutes away into a little bit like, you know, less fortunate of a neighborhood. And we would, it was super fun and it was super like fulfilling and awesome. And I didn't post about it. I didn't say anything about it because I didn't do it for Instagram or Twitter. I did it because I felt like there was a lack of love and joy in the world and I wanted to go spread some fucking love. And I, me and my mom went in the car and we went through every drive through on the way, which there's a lot of fucking drive throughs um, And every person we would pull up and um, I would ask when I was paying how many people are, you know, working today. And they would be like, oh, you know, there's four of us or there's three of us. And I had a stack of hundred dollar bills and I'd be like, okay, cool. Well, give give a hundred to you know each person working and these people would light up and they'd be so fucking happy and that shit like that's what life's about man that's like that made me feel so good that I could help anyone even if it's a little something like and then we drove into the neighborhood and we had you know tons of bags of canned food and whatever like non-perishable stuff and I would just knock on people's doors and you know in a mask, in gloves, and I would, you know, be like, here you go, I just wanted to go around and give some stuff. And then I would also be like, and here's, you know, like $500, I hope that it helps you in some way. There's actually a cute story I could tell you guys, so. Um, I could tell this on TikTok Live too, I guess, if because there's way more people on there. But, so, one of the houses that we went to, there was a little boy sitting on the side of the street, like he was just by himself, and but he was obviously sitting in front of his house, but he was sitting on the side of the street. Literally, when I tell you he was plant, he had a pot and a, and like a, like a ladle, I guess, like banging on a pot. And he was like probably seven or eight years old. And he's like banging on this pot. And I'm like, hey, and he's like, hi. And I'm like, are your parents home? And he's like, yeah, my mom is inside, why? And I'm like, okay, I'm like, you having fun? He's like, yeah, I get, yeah, I get, I guess. I was like, do you want a hundred dollars? And he's like, what? And I was like, do you want a hundred dollars? And he's like, yeah. And he like literally comes up to the car. He grabs it and he like sprints into his house. He doesn't even like say anything to me because you know how little kids are when they do that kind of stuff. Like he literally grabs the money, runs into his house. And when he runs into his house, his mom, we started pulling away and his mom comes outside and she's in scrubs. And I'm like, Oh my God, his mom's a fucking nurse. So I'm like, mom, mom, mom. Me and my mom are in the car. Make a U-turn, make a U-turn. My mom makes a U-turn. We pull up to the house again. And she comes to the, out of the car and she's like, why would y'all just give my son $100? Like, that's so fucking nice of you. Like, what? why'd you do that? And I was like, well, you want to... I was like, and I, I hope this doesn't, isn't like making you feel like, oh, I'm like doing this out of pity. Like, this is literally just to spread love and to make you feel like, you know, hey, here's some... Here's some fucking extra love and so i was like i think i, I think i pulled out like a thousand dollars that's all i had left and i was like take this and i hope that you stay safe and i hope that you know you know you're doing a amazing job for the planet it was just it was just a really nice exchange but what i'm trying to say is that i don't post that kind of stuff i'm not is it lagging sorry um i don't post that kind of stuff i'm not out here you know videotaping these experiences and saying what I do so it just hurts my like soul when I know that I go out of my way to be a good person and people still find a way to you know tear me down man tear me down it just sucks 
I'm gonna go. I just came on here to kind of clear this up and just tell you guys that I love you and I, in no way, shape, or form, uh, I didn't mean to go off like that. I was just really fucking upset and I'm sorry if it came across crazy, but I love you guys and yeah, I hope you understand where I'm coming from and yeah, that's all I could really say. And I'm sorry for always going live. Uh, okay. Bye guys. I love you.